Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. There's no doubt that inflation has been hurting Canadians over the last few years. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at grocery prices and compare which is the best place to get your groceries. We'll take a look at 2% milk, egg and butter prices at main grocery stores in BC, as well as a comparison of nutrition facts and ingredients between the different brands to determine what is the best place to buy our essentials. Before we begin, Make sure you like and subscribe so that the algorithm can recommend more videos like this. The grocery stores that we are going to compare are Costco, Save on Foods, Walmart, Superstore, and Safeway. We're not going to compare discounted grocery stores like No Frills and Fresh Co. In Canada, there are 10,300 dairy farmers and 970,000 cows producing milk for all Canadians and for export. In BC alone, we have 469 farmers producing 856 million liters of milk. It's a big industry and it's supply managed by the government. Milk is used to create butter, yogurt, cheese, and all sorts of essentials in our life. For milk, we're only going to take a look at 2% milk and organic 2% milk. We're not going to take a look at lactose-free options as well as other process options. For the best before date, the videos were filmed on July 31st for your reference. Without further ado, let's begin. First, we're going to take a look at Costco for milk. Costco sells two different 2% milk. Island Farm came in at $5.39 with the best before date of August 18th. For organic milk, we have Kirkland Signature at $8.79 with the best before date of August 15th. Save on Food sells Dairyland in both regular and organic. Dairyland came in at $5.79 with a best before date of August 15th. Organic Dairyland came in at $9.99 with a best before date of August 15th. Walmart sells Dairyland as well. Dairyland came in at $5.69 with a best before date of August 14th. Organic Dairyland came in at $9.68 with a best before date of August 11th. Superstore sells Dairyland. Dairyland came in at $5.39 with a best before date of August 17th. I didn't see natural in 4 liters, and I didn't see an organic section. Safeway sells both Lucerne for regular 2% and natural for organic. Lucerne came in at $5.75 with a best before date of August 11th. Natural came in at $10.29, but there were none available, so we have no best before date. Let's also take a look at the nutrition facts. Dairyland has less trans fat, less carbohydrates, sugar, but more sodium, potassium, and calcium, as well as double the amount of vitamin D. Dairyland also has no iron compared to the competitors. The ingredients are the same. So now that we have all the data set, let's put it into a table that we can summarize. It appears that the best, cheapest place to buy 2% milk is Costco and Superstore at $5.39. For organic, Costco beat all the competitors by a dollar. With the best before date in mind on July 31st, Costco wins this round, but it also depends on when the shipment came in, so your mileage may vary. At Costco this time, you get 19 days of use out of the milk before the best before date. Now that we finished with milk, let's take a look at eggs. The average Canadian consumes an average of 242 eggs per year, according to the Egg Farmers of Ontario. That's 600 million dozen eggs. A lot of eggs. It's important to get the best deals on eggs. Costco sells Golden Valley eggs at five dozen per lot. Total price is eighteen eighty nine, so that makes it thirty one point five cents each. Save on Food sells Western Family eggs at four dollars seventy five per dozen. That makes it thirty nine point six cents each. Walmart sells Golden Valley eggs at thirty eggs per lot. Total price is nine dollars seventy eight. That makes it thirty two point six cents each. Superstore sells no-name eggs at $3.99 per dozen. That makes it $0.33.3 .3 cents each. Safeway sells complement eggs at $4.15 per dozen. That makes it $0.34.6 cents each. Let's put all of this into a table. It appears that Costco is the cheapest, but you're forced to buy five dozen eggs at a time. I can't eat that many. If you just need a dozen, Superstore has the best price. So for this round, Superstore wins. Now that we're finished with eggs, let's talk about butter. I put butter on almost everything I eat. The average Canadian consumes 3.8 kilograms of butter per year. That's a bit more than 8 sticks of 1 pound butter. At Costco, they sell natural 
for five dollar forty nine per stick. There's no Kirkland Signature brand that I was able to find. At Save on Foods, they sell both Dairyland for seven dollar sixty nine per stick and Western Family for six dollar forty nine per stick. At Walmart, they sell both Gay Lee for six dollar eighty eight per stick. And great value for six dollar forty eight per stick at Superstore. They sell both Dairyland at six dollar eighty nine per stick and No Name for six dollar forty nine per stick at Safeway. They sell both Dairyland for seven dollar sixty nine per stick and Compliments for six dollar seventy nine per stick. Let's have a look at the nutrition facts first. They all have seventy calories. The fat, carbohydrate, cholesterol content are consistent. After all, Gay Lee and No Name all contain an insignificant amount of protein and trans fat, more than others. Natural all wins for sodium content, and the lowest are Great Value, Western Family, and Dairyland. There is no potassium, calcium, and iron content in all of them. The ingredients are almost virtually the same. Now let's put it into a table so that we can determine the winner. It appears that the cheapest is Costco at five dollar forty nine per stick. I was surprised that they beat the store brands as well at the grocery store. So for this final round, Costco wins. Thank you for sitting through this whole video with me. I want to note that we did not compare grocery prices at discounted grocery stores such as No Frills and Freshco. We also didn't compare the American versions. If you regularly shop in the U.S., please comment below so that I know you'll be interested if I make a video comparing the American versions versus Canadian versions. I highly recommend Canadians to shop around and find the best deals relative to their situation. For example, if No Frills is cheaper, I don't recommend you driving around town just to go to No Frills. Thank you for watching. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe to my video. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Please let me know in the comments, and I hope we can connect next time. Thanks again.